Okay, um, <clears throat> are you ready to do our intro? No, I hate it. Five, six, seven, eight. It's... I thought I just said, wait. I don't know, you did it together. Oh, okay, 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 okay. sorry. We did it. What? Now it's when we both do it together. We're oh, both okay. doing the entire thing together. All right, right? All right, all right. Uh, ready? And it's, it's two way with John and... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid this time. But uh, hi, Foy, how are you? Hey. This is so know, dumb because we're in the same room. <laughs> we already said hi. We said hi like an hour ago. But just for the audience, um, it's August 21st. It's Solar Eclipse Day. Did you see the Solar Eclipse? Um, through like a cereal box, I did. <laughs> I mean, um, at school they had like the whole, the, like the old school, like the shoe box that has like a tin foil thing and you stick a hole through it and there's a, like a cut on the other side and in the bottom of the box you can see just like, all you've seen is a shadow essentially. Yes, that's that was cool. what I did. You did the whole thing that the with the um... no, I just I just had a cereal box and like we cut uh the corner the top corner off and mm -hmm. then we put um or the two top corners off. We put aluminum on one side and made a tiny little hole. Yeah, that's and I then did. just watch the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. What do you call it? Um, and then they also had glasses too that you can like look up at the sun, which is way cooler as well. Um, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't. It looked like the exact thing you saw in the what do you call it cereal box it was just bigger and you knew that you were staring at the sun so that really it was the difference but um the fun <laughs> okay so i did all, all this uh at university of houston and uh mind you at the college so i assume people were more educated not necessarily smart but one girl <laughs> she puts on the glasses she goes now why come mercury in front of the sun anyway and i just oh, looked at her no. and i was just so hurt inside i was like no no and some girl just like dead stares at her she's like it's the moon and the girl looks so thin like she goes oh well how dare you say that i'm like it's, it's the moon like what do you, what I do you get, want i get it if you get solar eclipse and lunar eclipse mixed up people do that all the time like the moon's in front or the, like the earth's in front it, whatever but it's like it's either the sun moon or earth Mercury has nothing to do with that. I just thought that was so funny. She seems so dumb whenever she's She's looking at a thermometer like someone has an actual Mercury thermometer in front of her. Why Mercury? <laughs> but uh, anyway, here in Houston, we only got to witness uh, 60... 67? 69? Nah. 67% of it. Either way, it was still kind of cool. Um, mm. My nipples are hard, most of it, so I thought it was pretty interesting. And you, boy? Where is it hard? <laughs> A little bit. I mean, How cut, your <laughs> cut your glass. Cut your glass? Don't you say it? I said glass. I meant, <laughs> I meant grass. So sharp, cut your grass. Um, well, my experience was not as cool by any means. Um, I just, last minute, because my brother tried to stack like four pairs of sunglasses. <laughs> Which is also dangerous, so future reference, don't do that. It was terrible. He claimed clout, and I was like, no way clout. It was terrible. It was terrible. So we, like, last minute, we're like, well, how the fuck? We want to see it. So how do we do it? So we literally just got lucky and found a box. And it was very underwhelming. Yeah. To I the mean, point where I was, like, I literally woke up from my nap for this. It's it was, a big deal because it happens once in a while. But it wasn't, like, it's not, it's, it's not like a lunar eclipse is much cooler. And I've seen, seen I saw one of those when I was little. I yeah. Was, like, we see it in the backyard. It wasn't a big of a deal as well. Because all it is is, like, the earth covering the moon. Yeah. Yes. So the moon looks, like, red. Right? Mm, no, it's the Earth's shadow, I believe. Well, they all align. A lunar eclipse is like when they're all perfectly aligned, and then well, you can't so see the, the. You can't solar. see the. A lunar lunar eclipse. The sun. Uh, no, the Earth gets in between the sun and the moon, so you can look at the moon and see like the Earth's shadow covering it, Earth getting in front of it. In the solar eclipse, the moon gets in between the Earth and the sun, so when you look at the sun, you can see the moon coming in front of it. Oh, I know it was a terrible day to be a firebender. <laughs> Did you know? Please don't I watch know, Avatar. I know. I watched Avatar. I yes. just saw that tweet and I thought that was very unoriginal. You know, Aang came in there full force. <laughs> no. Oh well, yeah. Mm. Wasn't it? It's water branders who had like, who? Yeah, because the moon is like a. It does, it does but that was when they planned the attack on the Fire Nation was during their eclipse because the firebenders lose all their ability to firebend. How did they lose their... I thought it just like the water people got stronger. No, they lose the, the firebenders lose their ability to firebend. What? Ever. What Amber? So anyway, this is our second episode of Two Way with John and Foy, which uh, brings up the question, um, Foy, what does two way even mean? Do you know? 
Well, here's the thing. We originally made the, the the original title of this is called Two Way John Boy because we're on the phone a lot, like a two way call. But I read my dictionary yesterday night, and uh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. So can you give me a just a guess? Well, I, first of all, my vision's here. bad, so I don't know why you're blocking the screen. I can't, <laughs> I can't even see that if I tried. Um, um, well, when I think of two way, I think of like an intersection, like a stop sign, like a street, like a two way street. I think a little dirtier. <laughs> <laughs> like a dirty street, like the trash everywhere. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't even have the slightest idea. So the first d- definition of two ways says a thong that goes up the front. In other words, a wedgie <laughs> and a camel toe in one pair of underwear. So the sentence they give us is she wears a two way, but I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Even the example has no idea what the hell's going on. Or, I don't see why, why people wear two ways. I just free ball it. Okay, that makes more sense. Another definition is suspenders or some form of similar kinky underwear. She wears a two way, but I'm not <laughs> quite sure what that means. <laughs> the same fucking <laughs> sentence. It's the same sentence. Uh, another two way is a. Uh, a two-headed strap-on sexual device. <laughs> so that gives our podcast a little funky, fresh flavor. A little fresh, some for the kids. <laughs> Another one, the last one is, um, just kidding, there's seven. Uh, the, the fourth one, the only one I'm going to read, is a short for two-way pager, small electronic device that allows communication in two directions, a more advanced version of the original pager, which worked allowing the caller to send a numeric message to the person. Basically, what are things about? So it's a four definitions for us four. to actually make sense of what it is. Now, if I do recall, Fue is actually on Urban Dictionary. It is. It's okay. like from a bad lip reading. It says it, it's the thing. Mm. Or maybe not. Oh God, what have you been calling me all these years? <laughs> what? Fue. By far the coolest fucking word in the modern world. Fue is a word that can express a numerous number of emotions. You can say fue when you drop something Thank on you. your toe. Thank Cut you. yourself shaving. Marcus? Find, <laughs> <laughs> find 20 bucks in the ground or just say say to some... Wait. Say to someone who is bitching at you. Okay, bitch! <laughs> so I guess your name makes sense. The word, is quick, you. the word is quickly catching on across the United States, and don't be surprised to hear yourself saying it sooner than you think. Play. That's creepy. That's on their side. They're watching. Us. We're okay. I've so we have a theory. Say this we until. have a theory that we are on like some secret Big Brother bullshit type stuff <laughs> because literally, me and John will say something. It's not on social media. Like we won't post it. It's just literally me and him talking. On the phone or in person, and then out of nowhere, the next day sometimes, literally, it'll be on Twitter like thousands of retweets. We need to just start saying copyright, copyrighted, trademark after everything we say for it to actually. We need a lawyer on standby. Like, on standby. Jesus. Oh, fue means anything. Fue, as in fuego. More specifically, the fue in fuego, meaning someone or something looks great. Person one, yo, look at them shoes. Person two, those are fue. So that's nice, but let me add the la in front of it. Let's see if that's a name or if a... It is. Yeah, that's the one you're looking at. A viral video on YouTube, a series called About Lip Reading. Yeah. Okay. So your name is basically just like an expression you can say if you... Someone's, fue. Bitch, if someone's bitching at you. No fue. No fue. No fue. So we got that. Oh, yeah! Um, <laughs> at work this past... Friday, um, I said the word shade because these two people that I work with were like talking a lot of mess. I was like, dang, I was like, I said something like either like oh shady or like the shade of it are or something. And like under her breath, she was like, oh, these millennials. And I was like, I am either your age, if not like one year younger than you. I was like, what the hell? And then I had to look it up because I didn't know what millennials, like what year they are. We are technically generation Y. But it's called like Millennium. It's Generation Y slash Millennium. I thought Generation Z was kind of funny. It's Generation Z was the one after us. It's called <laughs> the Boomlets. The Boomlets? The boomlets. Like little ones. The little booms. Because there's baby boomers. Yeah, yeah. There's Boomlets. That's but anyway. Weird. Who comes up with these names? Can that be our job? <laughs> what would you call the next generation? What would you call. What would, what would you give our generation a better name? Um, 
like not Generation Y, but like Generation Y. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. W Y H Generation Y. Generation Fue. Go. <laughs> Generation Fue. Fue go home. Fue go home. All right, just back up all my shit right now. <laughs> well, it was nice. It was nice. Genitalization. Yes. That's it. That's it. Genitella Nation. <laughs> that was hard to say. Genitella. Just Genitella. <laughs> hey, I don't I've never actually. I only had a Tella. I actually uh, never had a Tella. Jenna Tella. Nah. Jenna Tella. <laughs> it's like invite it's Jenna. Jenna Tella. Nah, nah. Rather not. Rather <laughs> not Tella. It's Jenna Tella. Another one's rather not. <laughs> 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 What's the genitella? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Not generations. <laughs> it's just genitellas. Genitellas. I like it. I can stick with that. That sounds it. gross. But while we're still kind of on the topic of Urban Dictionary, what do you think clout means? Because oh. I know you, you ask me and I... I've been using it in the sense of like, that thing is so cool. It's so clout. I want to assume it's, it's like an acronym. Is it an acronym? It's not an acronym. So, like, cool ladies originate under titties. Titties. Um, under titties. Under titties. No, clout. Under titties. <laughs> under titties. Um, clout is like, um, you kept it real? No. I'm old. Guys, he's literally, like, ten months older than me. It's not <laughs> that I'm serious. I'm so distant from society. It's I don't know what's going serious. on. It's not that serious. Okay. Can you use it in a sentence? Yeah, your hat has lots of clout. Flowers? No, clout would be no, like... no. No, no, no. Use another sentence. I can get this. I can get this. You're, you're. Like, okay. I have like a style. How about a Houston style? Houston has the most clout. What the fuck? That's a whole different meaning. From my hat has a lot of clout to Houston has a lot of clout. Does Houston got the juice? Now we got the sauce. Mm. The sauce is forever. The juice is just temporary. <laughs> 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 you can get lost in the sauce, but you can get just used to the juice. That was beautiful. I want that tattoo. <laughs> I want that tattoo. <laughs> on my titty. I want it on my boob. <laughs> right under my core so whenever, like, whenever you're like uh, feeding your child, you're like, oh, don't get, you, don't get lost in that sauce. Don't get lost just in that sauce, you, baby. Just, you pop the other tit and it just says, just get used to this juice. <laughs> <laughs> ew, ew. Ew. <laughs> um, clout. It means it has like a lot of pizzazz. Like, a lot of flavor. Like, it has a lot of foy. No. If you will. Clout is, like, influence. Like, so it would be, like, oh. it's cool. Like, you know, do you realize how many clout points that would get like, you? Like, stay or... above the clout. Above the influence. Don't drive under the clout. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. No! Clout, clout means, like, respect, influence. Like, like I said, Houston has a lot of clout. Houston has a lot of respect. The city of Houston has a lot of influence, has a lot of respect to it, has a lot of... Like, put some clout on my name. Kinda, I guess you could use it in a way. Uh, am I cool Put some yet? respect on it. Throw some, res- throw some clout. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what the clout to me. Just a little bit, baby, just a little bit. C L O U T, clout. Ain't no clout in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I should watch the eclipse today, but there's too many clouts in the way. I feel like I started <laughs> something that I don't want to finish. Like I, like I don't clout. I don't. I want to say even clout all the time. Do it, but not when I'm around. Like not if if we're out anywhere and you start using it, I'm I will not. I'm just like I'm clouty not. with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my eye clout <laughs> what other clouts are there um, I went fishing all I caught was a clout like a trout uh, that was well. a stretch that was a stretch mm-hmm. oh don't fall in love with the Cutting sound clout, clout. <laughs> <laughs> I said don't fall in love with the sound clout rapper oh I said like wait what did I say cut it clout like cut it out your cloud is way too high. You need to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so cloud. Fue's keeping me young one word at a time. Next week we'll find out what the word FOMO means. Which I did. I learned. And I think I have a f- mild fear of missing out. Which is what FOMO stands for. Did you know that? 
Are you old? You never seen FOMO anywhere? No. I see it all the time. I used to usually see like on advertisements or something. It's like FOMO or something. It's like the fear of missing out. And I have not fear of missing out, but it's more just like, uh, not, I don't even think that's not a fear. Like today, for example, like I've been seeing, like I was watching all these like live streams. Even at school, they had a live stream like the eclipse. And I was like, mm-hmm. ah, this is like such a, like once in life. Not once. Eh, maybe. It depends. Uh, once <laughs> How long are you going to live? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to make it past 25. Let's be honest. Um, Same. But um, I was just seeing everyone was like out there like where they watched like the, the eclipse total. What is it called? Totality? Something like that. Where like this whole moon covers the sun so it gets dark for a second. I just thought that was so like that's so cool because it only happened like in a certain like Regions region of the spanning across the U.S. and Houston was not one of it. It was like the far out. We only got again six seven percent of the eclipse. But just I mean it was just really cool and I was like dang I I, I had no way of going. I couldn't have gone and it just I had FOMO. Wow. Um, you have the FOMO. That's you, weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I did don't. you have any kind of like um, regrets about not being able to go and see like the Eclipse Totality? For example, just one no, example. No, no, I don't. I, 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 what about like whenever you see like um, a person in concert that you really want to see, would you just have no way of like uh, acquiring tickets? Do yes, you I, like, absolutely. You absolutely. Like, I told you that about Ed Sheeran. But he's not even good. <laughs> he has like one song. That's why I don't talk to you about my love for Ed Sheeran. You didn't even know that I was an Ed Sheeran fan until recently. Mm, not until today, honestly. I just thought you went to go see him because he has songs. Because he has clout? No. Because he has clout. <laughs> no, I Ed absolutely Tottenham. love him. Yeah. I love his music. And I and I always tell you I'm like a closet Sheeran fan because you're I don't clout, talk about it. You're a clout sit? Clout Sheeran clout fan Sheeran. because uh, I would he get shit He terrifies me. He looks like he can stare at me and see my entire past. Oh, yeah. He, I don't... I don't like him because of how he looks. I like him because of his music. I feel the same way about, like, Sam Smith. I absolutely love their music. Sam I know Smith, you're not a fan Sam of Sam Smith. Smith. Oh, God, I hate Sam I Smith. I know you hate I hate him. Sam Smith, Katy Perry, and... That's it, really. Mm. That I hate. That I actually just don't like. Don't get me wrong. Katy Perry's first album? Was it her first album? I don't know. The one that has Teenage Dream. That amazing. was the second one. Okay, that it's amazing. I don't like Katy Perry as a person. I think she's actually... She's like, oh, and Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. Taylor, Taylor Swift. I think she's literal garbage. Her music, all of it's good. I no, like it's all, all of, I love all of her albums are good. None of it's good. No. All her albums are good. Except Taylor Swift is garbage. She's trash. I hate her. Will I buy any of her music? No. Will I stream it? Absolutely. <laughs> well, no. There's, there's a whole moment where she didn't have it on... Um, Spotify, that's a huge fucking deal. took it all off of Spotify for like six months or something, or a year. I don't know, like nine months, whatever. Didn't really do her dirty, And like... she brought it back the day Katy Perry dropped her new album, <laughs> was when she released her music back. See, she's actually she has no clout. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's just gonna be the, the name of this podcast is The Clout Podcast. <laughs> it's your way with John and Clout. <laughs> wow, I've been replaced so easily. <laughs> with the clout. With the clout. The clout almost... Clout almost sounds like the clout, like, like a STD. You got a clout, I, John. I have clout. You may want to go <laughs> get tested. <laughs> I go to the doctor. It doesn't look good for you, son. It doesn't look. You good. have clout. How long do I have? Well, how long is she living? <laughs> <laughs> or like ET, like he's like ET was dying. So ET was clout sick. home. Also, uh, I don't know movies at all. I literally don't. Have I know a few ET? references. Really. I've, no, I've, I've seen like a few scenes like I mean the iconic like <laughs> iconic um <laughs> bicycle scene where they like fly and you see them over the moon oh, and then yeah. um when you like when his finger turns whatever color and, yeah, yeah yeah when he does that um other than that I don't remember much I don't think I've ever actually seen it all the way through either I know they he really gets sick I know they like do some weird thing and they, they become connected so then when the government finds E.T. or something and they're doing all these weird tests, E.T. starts dying and getting sick and so does a little boy. Oh my god, that's so sad. I didn't know any of that happened. I've never seen it. It doesn't, like, it doesn't strike me as interesting. Just like the Goonies. It didn't strike me as interesting movies. So I seen haven't seen it. Um, But everything else... Oh, I've never seen the Gremlins. I haven't seen, seen it. it once. Didn't care for it. Wasn't scared Saw of it, it either. I love scary um, movies, though. Other than that, like your 80s classics, like... um. Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, nope. and like Pretty in Pink or something nope. like that. I haven't seen, seen any of those. They're all, wow. I haven't seen any of them. You don't even like Grease that much, do you? I love Grease. Do you like the songs? Mm, do you I know don't the hand know. jive? Let's go. All you hear is. Just like flopped on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it, guys. She has clout, may I add. <laughs> Instead of classy, she's cloudy. She's a cloudy oh my lady. God. Do you know the hand clout? 
<laughs> Ew. <laughs> There's whole fucking things about to be about over the word clout, and I don't know. I'm not. I like it. I'm here for it. Um, I don't like clout. How do we get to movies? What were we talking about? E.T.? E.T. But then before that, what brought us into E.T.? Katy Perry? Katy Perry. It, she has a song called E.T. She has a song. That's why that's on Parallel I found. No, it How wasn't that. We got- oh, I sent them out. We sent some, something about um, a reference to a movie. And you're like nervous. Whatever. Moving on. Anything else you want to add to that? I got nothing else I want to say. No, nothing I got else. Nervous. We just start talking. I circles. have a really. I, I am Jazzy Masters, and I have something to say. <laughs> kind of offended, a little bit offended. You tell me if you'd be offended as well. Um, so I went to one of my favorite stores ever. Mm-hmm. You know, guess which one? Is it a clothing store? No. One of your favorite stores ever. The thrift store. No. Is it like an actual store? Mm-hmm. Target. Has a lot of clout. No. Walmart. No. Okay. It has clout. Okay. <gasps> specs. We there specs. we go. Hey, we it's specs. an alcoholic beverage place. I went in there and they had the nerve to ask me if I was 21 or older. The one by our house. I get that all the... Which one? What lady was it? I don't even know. I always get yelled at by an older lady. She always I yells at me. I didn't even... No, it was a dude. It was a dude. I, well, I guess that is the issue, but it was like, dude, I am like, you're regular. I come here more than I should. Not really, not lately, but still. Same. I, I, I didn't get my... I didn't get, like, I didn't get my ID checked when I got to the register, but like, when I was just like there looking, the guy walked by and goes, here's like a boat, they're all 21. And I was like, yeah. And I got asked because clearly I like the, like the one who's like a child, but even then I was like, anywhere else I wouldn't be upset about. But the fact that I come here way too often, I was like, I'm a little bit offended. I'm I'm your number one customer. I spend too much on your money, I too much on your alcohol. But um, just a little bit offended that I got asked. Not offended, but just the fact that I was like, I know everybody in here. The guy that whenever I'm walking, you know the guy that's always right there by like the vodkas and whatever. Mm-hmm. When I was buying his little computer, um, he never asked anything. He just says, "What are you looking for? You need help with anything?" Literally, that's what I like. same. Yeah. But at the register, I don't get asked either. I get asked at the register, and I always get yelled at by one lady when I walk in. <laughs> I've got I've gotten asked more for like my idea to read our movie than I have at the register at Specs. That's As of lately, <laughs> same, same. Have I gotten? Have I looked younger? I'm trying to get. I'm trying to stay younger with the kids and learn about clout. I'm gonna have. I want to count how many times I said clout in this entire podcast. Clout, this clout count. This. <gasps> Ooh. Mhm. 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 Now, um, I. I get kind of angry when I get ID'd, but at the same time, I'm like, really? I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I have mixed feelings. I get angry when I get ID'd at, like, places that I've never been at or something, but, like, I spec some of them all the time. It was more that it wasn't even, I know, I know, I take it back. I wasn't even getting upset that I got asked to be ID'd. It was, like, the way they asked it, like, are you old enough to, like, like, almost like, I caught you, you're not old enough. It's like, yes, I'm 21. Like I'm 23, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. All right. Out of me. Cloud. No clout. No clout. No clout. No clout. No Gotta clout. out me with my age. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's <laughs> 20 years <What>? old. <laughs> He's, <laughs> yeah. years He's old. <laughs> He's more years old. He's years old. He's 23. 23. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're not that much older than I, so. But I carry myself with way more class and clout. You act, I think together, combined, people think we're like a total of like 18, 19 years old between the both of us. I refuse to go When you're by yourself, I'm sure you carry yourself way more mature, mature than when you're around with me. But, uh. we're, We're terrible together. I think. Well, no, I have, you know, I have a very strong opinion about going out with people and, like, looking like children because we already look young. I mean, like, we're all 23, 22-ish, maybe. Ish, ish. I, I don't know. But, uh. My half birthday's on Sunday. Oh, that's so what I was looking about. I was, I was getting to that. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't write that down. We're going to get to that. Uh, everybody celebrate, we're celebrating, celebrating boys, happy birthday. But we're going to get to that again once again. But I'm just saying, like, and I hate for, whenever I'm out with, with my people who are, like, who are as tall as I am, because all of our friends are fucking short. All of friends, fr- uh, friends are gay. So they're oh, all loud. Jesus Christ, <laughs> yes. <I can laughs> so they're so all loud annoying. and obnoxious. And uh, I just hate for us with, like, children. So whenever that happens, I, like, uh, pull myself aside because I'm just like, ugh. We look weak as a group. And so that's why I just don't like um, feeling like a child but acting like an adult. We will ask for my age. Again, but it's just the way I look. I look like a child. I always thought I looked older. Then I started hanging out with you and I get ID'd everywhere. 
But okay, but that's not because of overacting. That's just because he looked like a child. Like he looked like a child. A malnourished like child a at that. Fetus. Mm-hmm. I anytime I at get the ID. Age of Thirteen. I was born without a face. Same, dude. When we get ID'd, I always get like mad. I'm like, he's he's older than me. I promise. <laughs> yeah. I'm the baby here. <laughs> I'm the young one. Or it always hurts me when you but it has happened other times people are like well I got ID because you're here John and that's like because I'm like the oldest one but someone I'm with isn't he is old enough he literally <laughs> the oldest one <laughs> but they will always ID everyone else because they had to I feel like that's the case like they'll, they'll look at me and ask the question but then they'll look at everybody else and be like oh shit well now I gotta ask them as well because if we ID him and no one else and it's kind of like yeah. bad on like the company or something so if you're gonna hang out with me you gotta be old enough Plus, I don't want to hang out with anyone who's under the tw- like under twenty one. That's kind of boring. Now it's just a, it's more of a house. Though. We're too old for that. Yeah, it's opinion. definitely. High school parties are gross. Like, I, I want to go drink and it's like I can't. Yeah, I just need to go somewhere. If there's alcohol, I'll be there. If you're too young, sorry, you can't go. Honestly, unless you're our designated driver, your brother. Ah, uh, Bris. Uh, he needs to come through already. Um, but yes, your half birthday. Uh-huh. It's uh, it's head ass. Let's be honest. <laughs> Boy celebrates her half birthday, which is October 27th. October? No, October. Why did I say October? That's me. No, that is me. That's you. Yeah, sorry. You. Oh, but we're talking about my <laughs> birthday. But <laughs> he know? knows. He just happens to know his. <laughs> I mean, His is August. October 27th. His is October 20th. Yes, and yours is October 20th. I mean, August 27th. 27th. But you're celebrating it earlier. I'm celebrating it Thursday through Sunday. Ew. Uh, that's so head ass. Are you, but you're going to be there, so I don't know why you're upset. It depends on what, like, what you do. I work on the weekend, so I can't. I can be there on... What depends? What are you doing? What do you plan on doing? That's what I'm about. I want to go out. I want to go out on Thursday, and then... To where? What, do you, what are we doing? We're going to the neighborhood. Uh, see? All the friends... All of ways... Friends. All my friends are gay. All of them. Push it to the edge. It's literally everyone Push thinks the I, everyone thinks I'm gay too. <laughs> like it's not, I'm not. I'm hey, not. I didn't make the joke this time. Your heart spoke. You said you said push her out the clouds. It. You, 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 you didn't make the joke. You didn't think I wasn't gonna catch that. <laughs> no one hurt. <laughs> Shit, I thought you were talking. You could hear me. No, what was it? I I, I uh, tweeted you yesterday. It was like from this day forward, I'm not gonna call you. You a direct li- messaged me, and I was like, "You're still calling me by," and you said no, baby steps. I, <laughs> I will pull this shit up right now. I said, "No," because you said, "What were we talking about? Spider Man or something?" Spider Man. And then you're what? No, 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 no. Start from the beginning. Tell me what it says. So, like, um. You said, you sent me, you direct messaged me someone else's tweet that said, huge shout out to straight girls. I said, at least oh, someone appreciates me. I thought, you were gonna, me. I thought it was someone that we both know. I was like, no, we can't let people know that we talk mad mess all the goddamn time. Uh, well, now like, they know well, because I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> so great. You just outed us. We don't know about, they don't know about who though. Anyway, go back. Sorry. Who, so, what does it say? Now my Twitter's going to get hacked. Your shit's going to get hacked. I'm so <laughs> mad. I have to change my password on my phone so people don't go through it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm serious, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so, uh, you said huge shout out to straight girls, and I said at least someone appreciates me. And you said I'm trying to change my ways. From now on, you're my lesbian friend that likes men. <laughs> I said you're essentially calling me by. Not good enough. I'm straight. He said <laughs> baby steps. <laughs> it's not, it's so bad. It's so bad. I feel like. I feel like if I was gay, I would have been, like, told everyone. It would have been fine. But the fact that I'm the only straight friend, it's, like, flipped. I'm like, what universe is this to where I'm the token straight? I'm the token straight friend and all my friends are gay. This is your fault. I was your first friend. Everyone else is just followers. You were my first friend? Mm Mm-hmm. Ever. Of all time, ever. ever. Everyone else was just my associates, acquaintances. Mm -hmm. I've I've never had a real friend. I don't even know your real name. I know your real name. Boy. That's the name in my heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my government name. <laughs> is one thing. Is one thing. But the name on my heart. <laughs> but my heart says play. The sign says play. <laughs> the sign says my real name. <laughs> my it just says my real name. <laughs> That's what your tattoo should be. My, my real name? name. <sighs> no. Um, you should get my name tattooed on you. It just says play's real name. <laughs> it just says my name. <laughs> John got my name tattooed on him. Oh, that would be so it just funny. Says my name. That would be so funny. That is good. Funny. That's I gotta put that. I'm adding to my list. I gotta write that down somewhere. <laughs> my name. 
Ew, that M looks like so gross. My this M looks like that one filter of your face and your nose gets really big. <laughs> <laughs> where we look alike? Yeah. The one picture where we oh, look the most no. alike. I thought are you calling me? Oh, yeah, no. No, yeah, I'm calling you we <laughs> The one you sent Wait, me? I did this wrong. I put my tattoo instead of my name. <laughs> <laughs> my tattoo. My, my name. I'll just put that little carrot that says name. I spelled name wrong, but it's fine. Um. Oh, yeah. And so, so you, for your birthday, you're going to go out and celebrate with your friends who happen to all enjoy the same. Be gay. Yeah. Do you have any lesbian friends? I don't think. Mm, I already. Arian. That's really it. Yeah. I think, yeah. Unless, no, waiting on everyone else to come out. Apparently That's, all my friends are gay. Yeah. I'm just giving them all time. Well, yeah, you have to be last to everything. You gotta die. Oh, you gotta die first. You should have come out a long time ago then. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Everyone tweet Foy and say it. It's okay to be. Well, it's o oh, it's okay to be in to be lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed. All uh, all four people that listen to this are gonna just tweet. me. My mother tweets you. <laughs> I block her so quick. <laughs> uh, Uncle catch, Carol, catch that block. Catch that block. <laughs> Carol, Carol, catch that block. Um, your nails are back. They are. They're Next. back and they're that's better. All, that's all I wanted to say. You know, they're back. Okay, moving on. No, just kidding. So, for those who don't know, here, I'll take a quick picture and we'll add it to, like, the thing. Um, so, people can understand. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm past her wrong. So, people can know what we're talking about. I put a flash on. Actually, no. We should put a flash on. Get those oh, get them to like glow. Hold on. Let me, let me get my phone, too. Boy's nails get lit, literally. Like, every, um, every set of nails I've ever had has glowed in the dark. Just... Glow and the dark. <laughs> in lightness or dark. In darkness or light. <laughs> Her nails protect. <laughs> <laughs> They're a beacon of light. <laughs> in this dark, dark world. I think that they're obliques. <laughs> <laughs> should be fine let's see well they kind of glow but you, you gotta you gotta they're kind of glowing but you need to like put they need to be in the dark <laughs> get under this blanket <laughs> by the way guys i'm wrapped in a blanket no i can see this is so gross <laughs> oh shit you can tell wait it can't focus though can't focus on a fake wait you're calling your nails fake they are they're acrylics <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Okay, that's good enough. I <laughs> <laughs> the flash on. I can feel you breathing like under the blanket. It feels gross. John's face is in my crotch under the blanket, guys. Wait, I can't tell what you... Oh, it, uh, oh God, hold on. Put the blanket back over. You can tell they're glowing. Like that. That works better. <laughs> Your mom walks in. What the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> Just like I heard you're gonna blow him, but like I'm not gonna. Do it in my <gasps> Stop. It's kind of alright. Now this is just an actual photo. Let me of see. Like, well, it's just kind of hard to tell. It's like blurry, but the idea is there. We'll get one in the light so we know. Anyway, and this on. yeah, this is also what her nail. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I don't know how you're supposed to take the nail photos. Uh, one, two, smile. Did you really smile? <laughs> <laughs> You look up. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. Ah, so for the longest time, Fuey had nails that were like crazy. And then for a minute there, she didn't have any that were... Well, for not for a minute. It was like a long ass. It was like it was three like, years. Yeah. And we didn't know who she was anymore. When I met Fuey, she had crazy nails. And that's the only reason why I talked to her, if we're going to be honest. Well, okay. Her nails were clout. You might be onto something there. <laughs> you might be onto something there. And now she's back better than ever. She's really she's really coming through with her half birthday stronger than, stronger than yesterday. Stronger. That's Britney, right? No. Than yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I want to think Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson's the other one. <laughs> no, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah. And that sounds like pink. 
Because they're all very basic. <laughs> yeah. I saw, actually, speaking of pink, I saw a video yeah. of a squirrel spinning on, like, a oh, squirrel yeah. feeder. It to me. <laughs> and it was, like, every pink performance since 2009. I spit out water. <laughs> I was laughing so hard at that stupid little squirrel. I loved it. Poor little baby. You know what? Have you seen the video where pink is like about to do her performance and they went they go to put on the harness but one person to clip it on right and they go to pick her up and she goes flying off the side of the stage and like she, i think she like hurts her hip or breaks or something but it's hilarious <laughs> like because what it is is like it has, she has like a harness there's like two hooks in the sides of her like hips and like mm-hmm. during the performance she's like walking in whatever and then this was to come in real quick like her, her assistant not her assistant but like her dancers or something mm-hmm. And it was to really fastly like clip on their thing on the side of her, mm-hmm. but only one person clips it on. So when they go to pull, or the, yeah, so when they go to pull the harness, the other one they're supposed to pull them together. And she's supposed to lift up into the air, but that doesn't happen. So she just goes flying off to one side. It's, it's funny. Is it almost as funny as Beyonce falling down the fucking stairs? <laughs> it's almost as funny as you missing your cue to ring the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> I had to commit. I had to. I was like, "Fuck! I already fucked up. I gotta keep going. I can't miss it." Once you ring the alarm. Speaking of music, it's time for our final segment where we suggest music to people. Go ahead, you go first. Cause I have a real. I, I already know. Like, I'm 100 percent sure that the song that I'm going to suggest is better than the one you're going to suggest. So I just want you know to say the best for last. Let me think of the name of it, because I forgot the name of the song. Oh, okay, no, no, de- definitely. Let us know the name you're trying to recommend, but not know it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you know the name of the song, too. Don't look at it. You can't see it. I can't Don't see look. it. Why are you... You act like I have good vision. Vision? What? Vision. <laughs> I can speak English. I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. Speaking of speaking English. Speaking of speaking English, the song's actually in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's just Maluma. I feel like people just now caught on to him. But how do you spell it? Maluma. How you sound it out? Is it one word? Yeah. Oh, I would have guessed two. No, he's fine. He is oh, so he's good the looking. Person. He's the he in the photo of that so one guy that had like a, a romp him, romper on. It was like circulating on. Oh, he's five for a while. ten. So he a meal. He not a snack. They a meal. He's perfect. He's I don't know. I can't tell. So, it's it's Borro Cassette. It's a really good song. Cassette? Like a cassette? Yeah, like Borro, like erase, and then cassette. Like, she erased cassette? Like, she erased the memories? Oh. It's good. I thought it would have been like borrowing a cassette. Say it again? Borro Cassette. Mm-hmm. <laughs> borrow <laughs> cassette. cassette. <laughs> it's like if I were to read the word borrow in Spanish. Borro. Yeah. But what else borro. is W? Is it with the road arm? Mm-hmm. Borro. Borro cassette. Cassette. By Maluma. Yes, baby. Can you give us a little sample of it? Absolutely. <clears throat> me, 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 me. No, I can't. Just tell me how. Just give me the words. I'll sing it. You, you're literally at your computer. You can Google it. I don't know how to spell it. B-O-R-R-O <laughs> cassette. Uh, anyway. So, go listen to it. It's play song of the week. Um, my song, I can guarantee you, is like 80 million times better than that. Even Boy loves it. Uh, can you guess? Is it fucking Shania Twain? <laughs> oh, my God. It's Shania Twain. Life's about to get good. I hate you. I hate it. I hate Clearly. it. Clearly. Garbage. Garbage song. Clearly, Garbage it's song. a good song if you know the name of it. It is a lie. It. It's a lie because you he plays it so much. I've only been in the car with him a couple times, like a handful, and he plays it so much, so much. Because it's a great song. It's garbage. Twain is God. She's it's amazing. garbage. She's, it is literal garbage. She's my main. She's my main beat. I threw up the Shania Taint Twain. <laughs> Shania Taint? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she took your mind and tainted it with her <laughs> terrible music. And I've only been so lucky. Um, So yeah, Shania Twain. The song is called Life's About to Get Good. It's terrible. Your life's about to get good when you hear this song by Shania Twain. It's a lie. That is literally, it's ironic how much of a lie the title of the song is because your life is not about to get good. <laughs> it's not. It's a terrible song. Your life's about to get amazing. You're right. She's and it's, very, and she's it's, very humble with her song she's title. She's very humble. She's very humble with her song title. Life's, your life. She should put the word your in front of it because it's not just life. It's specifically your life. It's about to get 
great. And it's not even the fact that it's country music or that it's Shania Twain. It's not even country music. It's like pop. Shania pop Twain country. isn't garbage. It's just the song is. It's just John is. It's just John is. <laughs> Uh, That's my best friend, (laughs) (laughs) y'all. I'm friends with the garbage can. (laughs) I wish your name was Oscar. That'd be fucking funny. I'm Joss, John, Johnster, Josker, Josker. You boo boo the fool is what you mean. (laughs) B I C T H. (laughs) Big. Big. (laughs) You fucking big. You fucking big. It sounds like how Mexicans say Vix. (laughs) Big. I'm not Mexicans. I'm sorry, Hispanics. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Wow. I'm half Mexican. It it doesn't. The other half is white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half Mexican. The other half is privileged. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. No, I'm kidding. I'm not white. I'm just kidding, you guys. I'm, I'm not, not Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Baba. I think that's a wrap. Unless there's anything else you want to add. No, I was over you when you started talking about Shania Twain. I dead ass was like, I'm about to disconnect this so mic. So, like, the first day we met? Nah, I talked about it, like, maybe, like, the second week. No, you talked about Shania Twain years after we had met. Yeah. Yes. You, um, did, you didn't talk to me. You did, When you bought that fucking album, we got so drunk our and friendship went down the toilet. You bought that album. I bought Shania Twain's greatest hits. Speaking of Shania Twain and her song, Life's About to Be Good, you might as well just go listen to her greatest hits, Shania Twain's greatest hits, and the album is on Spotify. Check it out. It's amazing. The, reason, it the reason he bought this album, because what did you discover? Whose bed have your boots been under? You found that one, and then, so you started digging more into her, and then we got- No, I love Shania Twain. My grandma loves Shania Twain. You know a lot about Shania Twain for not liking her. I, it's catchy. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like her. I didn't say I didn't like her. I said the song is garbage. Oh. I said Shania's okay, and her music is fine. It's Thank just that you. song is terrible. That's all I needed, to, so I can sleep well at night. I, uh, I was like, I thought my best friend and my, and Fway weren't getting along. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about to call my other babe <laughs> real quick. No. I don't know if you're being serious. No. Put him on speaker. Hey, baby, we're recording a podcast. Would you like to be a guest? Uh, where we're getting at, basically, is that Shania Twain. <laughs> oh, my God. I said trash. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, you send that to? Trash. <laughs> Wait, no. Play what you said. Put it up to the mic. Oh, you're being serious. <laughs> Do you see what happens when you take a joke too far? <laughs> what I was saying was we were really trash in the car, and um, it was not funny. driving. We weren't driving. We weren't. We weren't driving. We were sitting in a friend's like. Uh, <laughs> we were sitting in his driveway. We were sitting in someone's driveway. Like, we, we used to do that a lot. Mm-hmm. Anyways. We would, so we, be, oh, 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 oh. we would sit in someone's driveway, get really drunk, and then And then ask to use the restroom. And go inside and use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we were getting really drunk, and uh, we were actually celebrating. Do you remember what we were celebrating? Yeah. Um, uh, Jesse Wellings, he tweeted my video. Or he said, oh, it was in his YouTube video. It was on his YouTube video. He gave Jesse you a Wellings shout out. Prank versus prank and boyfriend versus girlfriend, which they're not boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. Gave me a shout out on a video that I made with one of his songs. And then it just like fucking blew up like on a very minor scale. And he got like 5,000 subscribers in one night. And it was so funny because it was like, I was like, we get five on su- subscribers tonight. We're going to take shots at Everclear. And then we, and then we it, got it. And, and then we're like, fuck that. Just kidding. We're just totally we're kidding. We're totally like, we, we joking. Just to happen. And then I got really drunk and I bought Shania Twain's Greatest Hits album. And so, my life has never been the same. That's what John does. He gets really drunk and then buys music. But now I have Spotify. So I just get really drunk and I force bad music upon other people. It was the same thing. It's kind of what I, it really, it really is what I do. It is what you do. You play your trash ass music. Well, I'll come over and we like it. <laughs> We're so crazy. We're so like, well, I'll come over and he plays trash music for me until I pass out. <laughs> I don't drink. I don't drink because of like, I drink because this music is so bad and I want to oh, escape it. I need okay, to. yeah. You come over, you make yourself a burrito. Blanket, a blanket burrito. A blanket mm-hmm. burrito. And then we just drink. Yeah. And listen to great music. Mm, it sounds like something's getting grated on a cheese grater. Like a, like a, a scrape and it's terrible. I sounded so southern. Mm-hmm. You have no clout. 
Boy, if you <laughs> boy, if you don't, I got a clout. Boy. I'll tell you what, I got clout. Boy, I'll tell you what right now, I say I got clout. I'll tell you, Grandpa, but that's you that clout. <laughs> yeah, so I'll come over, I'll get trashed, I'll proceed to get trashed, and then um, be forced to listen to terrible music. And God, you're one lucky, one lucky person. I'm pretty sure you have some weird little little fans that would die for my experience. Or we'll just die. Or we'll just die. Like, yeah, yeah. Because I'm way. supposed to die first. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Huh. That's weird. So, I'm the best friend. <laughs> it's fine. He just comes over to my house, takes up all the bed, and then just goes to sleep. So. Except with no clothes on. Yeah. That, oh, wait. No, let's not talk about that. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we'll say that for another day. Bye. bye. Oh, no, no, no. That's, not how we, that's not how we say bye. You ready? One, two, three. Goodbye. But I hope that was recording. <laughs>